With just two days to go, the international negotiations over Iran's nuclear program have reached a critical stage. Seeing a breakthrough, Secretary of State John Kerry extended face-to-face -face talks with his Iranian counterpart. Margaret Brennan has the latest from talks in Vienna. Good morning. Just days ahead of that November 24th deadline, Secretary Kerry and Iran's top nuclear negotiator Javad Zarif are scrambling to make progress here in Vienna. Hammering out an agreement with Iran to freeze its nuclear program has, to no one's surprise, proved extremely difficult. One of the key negotiators, British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond, said Friday they are nowhere near a deal. These are very difficult and technically complex matters, and we've got a long way to go if we are going to get to a deal before the deadline on Monday. The sticking points include how much potential bomb-making material Iran should be allowed to have and how quickly economic sanctions would be lifted in return. Iran wants immediate relief. Sanctions have pummeled their economy. But the U.S. wants to lift them gradually and only if Iran complies with the terms of the deal. Iranian President Rouhani has been willing to negotiate with the West, in part because of the pressure he's under to turn the economy around. State Department spokeswoman Marie Harf said the future of Iran is at stake. If uh, their leaders can take the steps to get to a comprehensive agreement, it will enable the Iranian people to have the economic opportunities that they deserve. If not, you can envision a scenario where the economic sanctions we have put in place uh, continue to really cripple the Iranian economy. And President Obama is also facing pressure. The nuclear deal is one of his chief foreign policy goals. Yet Republicans and some Democrats in Congress are threatening to jeopardize it by heaping on new sanctions. Failure to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon could kick off an arms race in the already tumultuous Middle East, according to Reza Marashi of the National Iranian American Council. If this diplomatic process fails, we return to the cycle of mutual escalation that existed before the diplomatic process took hold, and we'll even go beyond that point to measures that we haven't seen before. So war becomes an increasingly likely possibility. So the stakes here are extremely high. At one point on Friday, Iran's diplomats said they were flying back to Tehran to discuss a proposed deal, and then abruptly called all of that off. After a series of late night meetings here in Vienna, it appears there is still more work to be done. Anthony and Benita. Margaret Brennan reporting from Vienna.